Welcome to this DCS Mission Editor Tips video. Do you want to spawn AI to complete a task using the radio menu? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to add items to a radio menu in the Mission Editor. You'll be able to tell the AI to do such tasks as provide cap cover while you prosecute a ground target, or deliver ammunition to your fart when supplies are getting low, and so much more. Aside from allowing you to talk to the AI in the game, the radio has a menu where you can trigger different actions. The downside is that you must set these up in the Mission Editor. We'll use a combination of triggers and flags to tell DCS what we want it to do. It's not as complicated as it sounds, so let's start by looking at the mission. Our Harrier will attempt to take out some SA-8s before another flight comes in to strike a factory. But we need to call in the strike after we're sure that we've taken out all the SAMs. Sure, we could use a trigger system to detect if the units are dead, but this is also a good use of the radio menu. I will place the first strike unit at the base, set it up, ready to complete its tasking. I will also set it to be uncontrolled. You can learn more about that by watching the video I will link at the end of this one. Next, we need to tell the strike flight to hold at waypoint one until we're ready. We want to select waypoint one for the strike flight, add advanced waypoint action, perform task, orbit, set the altitude and speed as desired, click stop condition and tick is user flag. Set this to a number, in this case I chose three and make sure the condition was set to true by checking this box. We are now ready to set up the mission triggers and add the radio menu to our flight. Click set rules and triggers, new, once, in conditions I set time is more and set three seconds. In the action section I click new, radio item add for group or coalition whichever you prefer. Set group for whichever group you want to have the radio options or coalition if it's coalition. Name the action. Set the flag, I chose two. And set the value, I chose one. We will use this to tell the flights to take off after we're clear of the boat. We need to add another radio item to tell them to strike. Clone the action you just made, then set the flag value used in the stop condition for the orbit of the strike. Remember, I chose three, so that's what I set here and the value can remain at one. We also need to add a trigger so we can do AI task push so that they can start their engines and take off. We're gonna go new, once, flag is equal to, set the flag to two, one, because you remember that's the takeoff trigger in the radio menu, then AI task push and start. Okay, we're all done. Now we can fly the mission, tell the other flight when to take off and when it's safe to proceed to target. There are some things to note about radio items. The radio item add only works in single player, whereas the group and coalition options work in multiplayer. The most confusing part about the radio item menu is keeping track of which flags you have used for what. If I were using this menu to spawn in flights of bandits to practice against, I would suggest making the flag equal to the group number you intend to spawn and making it a value of one to spawn them and two to despawn them if they become overwhelming. Of course, you need to create a separate radio item for each action, but the setup is the same. They can all go in the same action group. If you managed to follow my ramblings this far, I would appreciate a like. It lets me know the video is helpful. You can learn more about the uncontrolled option by watching this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you in the skies.